what you see in front of you is the top 10 ratings for nba 2k18 guys i am going to give you my own personal list of what i think these top 10 players should really be because i know a lot of people are complaining about this and i totally understand your guys's complaints so here's my list of the top 10 nba 2k18 players what they really should be the number one rated player in nba 2k18 should be lebron james at a 98 overall he is the best player in the NBA and had one of his best seasons ever, averaging 26 points, 8.7 assists, 8.6 rebounds, and had his second best most efficient field goal percentage for his entire career. The second best player should be Kevin Durant at a 96 overall. Durant is the most gifted offensive player in the NBA, giving him the second best rating in the game. Combine this with his NBA Finals MVP, a 96 overall, just behind LeBron James feels right. I know LeBron James haters are going to argue this, but this is just my opinion. At number three, we have Russell Westbrook at a 96 overall also. Some will say Russell Westbrook did not deserve the NBA MVP, but regardless, he did win it. The year Stephen Curry won the MVP, he was also around a 96 overall. The fact that Kawhi and Harden are rated higher right now in the actual NBA 2K ratings is absolutely asinine as Russell Westbrook was a triple-double machine. Number four should be James Harden, 95 overall. Now, James Harden very well could have won and probably should have won the NBA MVP, but the voting favored Westbrook. Do I think Harden is worse than Westbrook? No, I do not. But Russell won MVP this season, and he should be rewarded in the rating column, giving James Harden the 95, just one point. I'm going to say it's like 0.1 points. Like, this should be a 95.9, just behind Russell Westbrook. The next spot is Kawhi Leonard, a 95 overall. 2K got this one right. Kawhi is the best two-way player in the NBA offensively and defensively speaking. He's not quite LeBron James or Kevin Durant yet, but he's literally like right there. Once again, uh, like a 95.9. Coming in the next spot is Anthony Davis, also at a 95 overall, being the best power forward in the NBA. Anthony Davis had his best season yet, and he played a solid 76 games. Uh, he is the victim of a bad team, but he is simply a stat sheet stuffer, and I think this totally warrants a 95 overall. He always seems to be right there um, as an MVP caliber player. The next bout we have Stephen Curry at a 94 overall. Now, I know Stephen Curry fans are going to be disappointed about this rating, but I do think 2K got this one right. Uh, Curry had a bit of a dip in overall score and field goal percentage this previous season, and as a result, it makes sense that it would be a small dip, just a small one in his rating at a 94 overall. Um, but this is all expected because, of course, he had to adjust with a new 30-point-per-game score superstar in Kevin Durant. So for the next buy, I have Carl Anthony Towns at a 93 overall. I'm probably in the minority on this one, but I consider Carl Anthony Towns to be the best center in the NBA, even over Boogie Cousins. Cat does exactly what you want a center to do these days. Although I would totally listen, like if people are like, yo, you're a bitch ass crispy, you gotta put Boogie over Carl Anthony Towns, I would totally listen to that argument. Next up, we have Boogie Cousins at a 92 overall. He has pretty similar stats to Carl Anthony Towns. Um, I still think that he needs to prove that he can actually play alongside Anthony Davis for a full season and that their games can complement each other. Um, otherwise, we will probably see a big dip in Boogie Cousins stats overall. Um, of course, though, man, like that's all speculation, but I think Boogie was a 92 last season. I don't really feel like he got like any better, but I also don't feel like he got any worse. And for the final spot, I could not decide. There's so many players that warrant a 91 overall, if you ask me. We have Giannis the Greek Freak, uh, Paul George, Jimmy Buckets, John Wall, Kyrie Irving. All five of these players warrant that 10th spot. They're all fantastic in their own ways. Um, I think all of these players improved upon their games this past season. And a lot of these guys, their ratings actually stayed the same compared to what they were last year. And that just doesn't make sense to me. These players, they all got better. So for that reason, they deserve a better rating. So these are just my thoughts, everybody. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think the top 10 rated players in NBA 2K18 should be? Um, I think that 2K did mess up in quite a few spots. And I really want to know why. Like, I want to know the justification behind some of these ratings. It would be nice if 2K came out with an actual, like, blog post telling us why a certain player is rated higher or lower than somebody else.